Welcome everyone to another Sunday and the Light Warrior Collective Empowerment Meditation. Today with the beautiful Lisa, I'm really much looking forward to that. She already had a part of the meditation for the people who recall that moment where internet led us to a very different way of going for it, but I think it was beautiful back then, so I know it's going to be beautiful today. So I'm Hendrik, uh, for everybody who is new, uh, for the other beautiful familiar faces, welcome. So uh, we're recording this and it's going to be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, we're still continuing that process and uh, yeah, welcome you here for this other Sunday. I hope you all, your needs are met, your took care you're not uh, your body doesn't have will scream for anything in the next 45 minutes and you're not going to be disturbed otherwise uh, quickly take care of those needs and the people around you that you can completely be present with us and in the meanwhile we can open up the chat and as always just write your name and from where you're calling in from so that we have an idea where we're all sitting Netherlands, Mexico City, Louisiana, UK, Greece, I'm in Lagerdorf, Virginia, the USA, Abu Dhabi, UK, Wales. Nice, beautiful. Spain. Oh, my colleague sits in Barcelona, Lenka. You might connect. I know you are in quarantine. You're not allowed to leave your municipality right now weird way but yeah that's not here today we are here and are connected from around the world in a beautiful vibration a beautiful energy with this full moon from yesterday and the the um, transition that we're going through now from october to november so it's a very powerful beautiful day i welcome you all and i hand it over to Inken. thank you hendrik I don't have this fancy microphone and by the way it's it's an amazing sound <laughs> i i really i love it i need one of that so hi everyone welcome welcome my name is ink and i'm one of your hosts for those who don't know me and um first of all a big thank you for last week because um that has been a special session with all of you and and we really from all the light warrior team we would like to say thank you for your contribution because um it was very interesting, inspiring for us and beautiful to even connect more closer with all of you. So um, very grateful for that. And there's lots to come. So we are we are in <laughs> involvement and uh, be curious what what's up next. And um, today it's, it's for me is, is a really, um, yeah, um, outstanding day as uh, Lisa is guiding us and um, I'm, I'm very very happy about that because I love her a lot and um, I, I feel it's it's a very special moment that it's, it's her turn to shine her light and that you will get to know her better because basically she was more in the background but she's a very important part of the Light Warrior Collective and um, our little Light Warrior team we, we benefited a lot a lot from her wisdom and her guidance and um, basically um, she she is the one that is grounding us <laughs> because you know we are a bunch of very different people that that um, build this together and and Lisa is always our wise guidance that that keeps us on the ground and we are very very grateful for that and um, yeah, um, although she has lots of things going on in her life, she's she's creating amazing things and, and amazing projects that you should all follow, by the way. It's, it's amazing what she's doing. Um, she takes the time to be here with us and to contribute in, in her authentic way to the Library Collective. And um, today, I would like you to imagine that you sit beneath a beautiful tree. This is how I feel with her sit in her shade, feel the peace, the, the, the safety, the guidance, just, um, and lots, lots of, receive lots of love from her. This is how I feel when, when I'm in contact with her. And I hope you will feel the same by her guidance today. So 
I love you so much, my friends. <laughs> I hand over to you and um, please enjoy everyone. Well, thank you for that beautiful introduction, uh, Inken. And I just love what you've said because today we're going to visit the Prosperity Garden. So <laughs> you might well be sitting under a tree. <laughs> so look, as, as you're all well aware, Trent has very big boots to fill. And I know that I can't do anything to compare with him. So I spent this week pulling up together the best of the things that I've learned and created this, um, especially for you guys today. And it's, I'm warning you now, it's powerful. It's very deep. It's going to take us deeper than we've perhaps been before. And I invite you to honor yourself, to honor what is right for you. And if we go somewhere that doesn't feel comfortable, then just open your eyes and sit and listen. Okay, it's really important that you value and honor, honor yourself. So we're going to talk about a conversation with money, and I'm taking it from Love Money, Money Loves You by Sarah McCrum. And I don't know if any of you have seen that before or read it or listened to it, but it's a really powerful, powerful book. So have you ever had a conversation with money? Other than cursing, of course, when it's not there. So many of us have a love-hate relationship with money, if we have one at all. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to just read something from the book, which is what money would like to say to you. So just close your eyes for a minute, just sit comfortably and just listen. We're not going to meditation, but I just want you to listen and absorb this a little bit. So this is money talking to you. I would like to tell you to love me, smile at me, collect me, enjoy me. Feel my power. Spend me. Invest me. Give me. Pay with me. Take me. I am an energy. I am very powerful and beautiful. I am an incredible web of connections. I am light. I'm not dirty. You are too afraid of me, as you are of many things. You can open up and embrace me fully into your life. It's not too late. You can start now. Just open yourself and say yes. Be brave. Love me. Love yourself so you can accept my power, my glory, my light, my beauty. I am not the devil. I never have been. I am a glorious being of light. I connect human beings with each other. I am so flexible, you can use me to channel your creativity. Just go ahead. I am waiting for you. You must open your heart. You're too rigid, too afraid, and there is nothing to be afraid of. You will win, not only me, but life also. I am always here to help you. Just accept me and I will come to you very quickly. There is a lot of me waiting for you. You've chosen to have more. Don't wait. Just take me. I will love you. And I'll pop that in the main group for you um, to be able to, to read and have a look um, in, in your own time. But it's, it's just a beautiful conversation with many. And I remember the first time I had this conversation, I was quite shocked by what it came, came up with. I didn't read mine. I read what um, came to Sarah McCrum in there. And so today is really about having a conversation with money with the intention of getting to know it and building a relationship with it. And as with any relationship building, that takes a little bit of time and effort. So today I'm going to take you on a journey of transmutation meditation using a combination of light hypnosis, psychic tools and visualization to relax your thinking mind and facilitate a healing. And I'll be combining work from Jolie Dawn, Arturo Gaetan and Sarah McCrum. And at all times, I want you to know that at all times, even though it's light hypnosis, you are in control. And if you don't feel comfortable at any point, I invite you just to listen to it with your eyes open if you prefer. And you may like to listen to the recording later and do it fully. So please honor yourself. Do what is right for you. Now, this is a safe space to feel any emotions that come up. 
And they may not, but they may. I'm just letting you know that they may. So do the best you can, follow my voice, and allow yourself to be guided. So um, if you want, if you're somebody who needs to write things down as they come to you, I'm going to invite you at points throughout the meditation to write down what you want and then close your eyes and rejoin the meditation. And if you don't want to write them, you just want to absorb, that's, that's probably better. But I know some people it's quite important to be able to write it down. So if your relationship with money is pretty good, feel free to substitute what I say with an area of a life that might not quite be where you want it, maybe relationships or something. And by the way, being financially wealthy doesn't always mean that there's a healthy relationship between you. <laughs> so we'll be clearing the four core emotional hooks of security, shame, apathy, grief, and anger. So are there any questions? before we get started. Okay, if you have any questions, just pop them in the chat box. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to see the screen as I, as I take you through this. So let's get comfortable, get yourself relaxed, and remember that you are in control at all times. Okay, so getting yourself comfortable and start to settle into relaxation and slow down your breathing. And as you breathe out, allow your head and neck to relax into your shoulders. Allow your shoulders to relax into your chest. Allow your chest to relax into your torso. Allow your torso to relax into your hips. And now become aware of your whole body Relaxing down, down, down into the chair, the floor, whatever you're sitting on. And just feeling snug and safe. Just sit here for a moment. And really become aware of how relaxed your body is feeling. Sinking deeper and deeper into the chair. And visualize in front of you seven steps going down and feel your feet on each step. Seven, six, feel your feet. Five, four, three, feel your feet on each step. Two, one. And notice or visualize a green door on your right. Open it, don't walk through, don't look in. Just open it and walk past. And next to that door is an elevator. So step inside, we're going down. Three floors. Three, three, two, two, one, one. And visualize yourself or become aware of yourself walking out of the elevator. And in front of you is a white chair with an old wise man sitting in the chair. And as you approach, he stands up and invites you to sit in his chair. Sit in the chair and feel yourself open to, the rec to receive the healing that he's offering you as he stands behind you. Allow him to put his hands on your head. Feel the vibration of his hands running into your body. You feel those vibrations running all the way down through your body, down, 
down, down to your toes. Feel. Focus on your breath. Become aware of white light coming out of his hands and directly into your brain. And notice that white light moving down into your spine, down, down, down to the base of your spine. Just feel that white light. entire spine. And on my count of three, you're going to allow that white light to go into every bone in your physical body. One, two, three. Feel it, feel it. Really feel that white light in every bone of your body. Feel it more. And on my count of three, you're going to allow that light to feel in your physical body, in every cell of your physical body. One, two, three. Feel it. Feel it more. Feel that white light in every cell of your body. Feel it more. Focus on your breath. Keep on breathing and feeling, feeling, and breathing. And on my count of three, bring an image to your mind of a time when you felt prosperous, when money was working for you, working and flowing for you. One, two, three, feel it. Feel that time when money was working and flowing for you. Feel it more, even more. And start to notice that you're feeling guided to stand up from the chair. And you feel the urge to walk down a long pathway, furious as to where you're heading. Feel your feet on each step, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. And you notice that you arrive at a gate and that gate has your name on it labeled my, whatever your name is, Prosperity Garden. So say this to yourself in your head with your name. This is your Prosperity Garden. So notice this gate. What does it look like? And what does it feel like to be standing at the entrance of your Prosperity Garden? And on my count of three, you're going to open the gate, walk through the gate and close the gate. One, open the gate. Two, walk through the gate. Three, close the gate behind you. You're now in your prosperity garden, representing all the ways in your life that you deal with business, money and finances. It's a reflection of your current money state. What's the first feeling you get when you're in here? Notice this feeling and stay curious, no judgment. And take a walk around your prosperity garden. Notice what you see, hear, smell, taste and touch. And as you're walking around, find a nice spot to sit down. And it might well be under that beautiful tree that Incan talks about. It could be next to a stream, a waterfall. Somewhere that feels nice to you. And invite money to come and join you. 
And if it does, ask if it has anything it wants to say to you. And if you want to, you can open your eyes and write down what it says to you. And if not, just keep your eyes closed and just absorb what it's telling, telling you. And if money doesn't want to join you at this time, that's okay. Just sit in your garden. As you look up, you notice a big screen in front of you, like a movie theater. You see a desk on the screen and feel as though you've got 3D glasses on. You feel like you're there in the movie. And as you gaze down at the desk, you begin to see that there are pieces of paper all over the desk showing you your current money reality. And without any judgment, just begin to notice and see it all. Notice if money wants to tell you anything. See your current reality of all the money you have in the bank, your cash in hand, your liquidity. See all of your assets, any investments, real estate, stocks, etc. See all your savings accounts. See your retirement plan and future savings. See a list labeled all the money coming to me. And begin to see all the money in your fields that's heading your way. Pay rises, unexpected gifts, bonuses, etc. Now see your debt and past expenditures. Any credit cards, student loans, business loans, no judgment, just notice them. And see all of your bills, things that you currently owe money on. See any IOUs and things you may owe other people. No judgment on this. And if it's feeling uncomfortable, if you're brave enough to sit with it, and if it's too much, just open your eyes and just listen. And now notice a list labeled things I would do if I had the money. What are the things you've been putting off because you haven't got the money? Your health, new car, new home, your family, yourself. What do you see on this list? What does money have to say to you? See it all. What else is here in your current money reality? What else are you financially responsible for? What does it feel like to see all of this? And try to stay as neutral as possible. You're so brave. Just noticing and being willing to see it all. Be aware of anything money wants to tell you. Now we're going to meet our first psychic clearing tool, the sacred transmutation flame. So on the screen near the desk, begin to notice a huge flame beginning to form. This flame is here to help you release that which no longer serves you. Alchemize your pain into usable energy. And to gain awareness of that which you are no longer willing to hold in your body and emotions. This flame is here to help you transmute your money scarcity blocks, both conscious and unconscious. Trust this flame. 
This flame is here to help you purify, cleanse, and release. And see this flame roaring with light and power. See the brilliant colors of orange, red, and blue. And look down at your desk. And as you see your money reality, feel all the places that this brings you shame. Feel so bravely. We need to feel it so we can clear it. Why do you feel like you've been foolish, that you're wrong, or that you're embarrassed or ashamed? Where do you feel like you messed up, that it's your fault? Feel all of the self-judgment. It's so brave. And now notice all of those feelings of shame and why. What's the story? What's the dialogue? What's the judgment? And if you want to, you can open your eyes gently and begin to write down and then come back to the meditation. And if not, just keep your eyes closed. Be so brave and notice all of the feelings, no judgment. Just allow them. Now begin to see your sacred flame roaring with light and power. And visualize or feel yourself crumpling up all of the places that you feel shame, embarrassment, and self judgment. And see yourself throwing this into the flame. Notice the flame getting bigger. Do you give the flame energy? Feel this emotion leaving your body as the flame alchemizes this for you, with you. And feel this with me. Everywhere I've been holding on to shame, guilt, and embarrassment, I release and transmute across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Take a deep breath in, exhale powerfully, feel yourself empty. Being so great. Well done, keep breathing and feeling, feeling and breathing. And as you look back down at your desk, showing your entire money reality. Begin to notice all the places that you feel apathy, a feeling of not wanting to see it, avoidance, detachment, and where it's all felt like too much and you can't bear to see it. See all the places where avoidance and apathy show up in you with your money. What have you not been wanting to see, not wanting to look at? And notice all the feelings of avoidance and apathy and why. What's the story? What's the dialogue? What's the judgment? And if you want to, you can open your eyes gently and begin to write them down and then come back to the meditation. And if not, keep your eyes closed. I'm so brave as you become aware of it. And begin to see the sacred flame roaring with light and power. And visualize or feel yourself crumpling up all of the places that you feel apathy, avoidance, and detachment. And see yourself throwing this into the flame. Notice the flame getting bigger as you give it the energy. And feel this emotion leaving your body as the flame alchemizes this for you, with you. You may even want to use your hands to move the energy, making a sweeping motion off your body, or moving your hands to throw the energy into the fire. And feel this with me. Everywhere I've been not wanting to see something with my money, where it's easier not to look, where I can't bear to take in the reality, 
where I'm lacking integrity, I release and transmute across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Take a deep breath in. Exhale powerfully. Feel yourself emptied. You are doing an incredible job. Keep breathing and feeling. Feeling and breathing. Looking back at your desk, seeing your money reality, begin to feel all the places where you're holding on to grief. Oftentimes you feel grief in the heart. What's been heartbreaking about your money? Where are you feeling sadness, despair, anguish, or pain with money? In what ways do you feel that you're letting other people down? Your family, your friends, your community? And notice all the feelings of grief and sadness. What's the story? What's the dialogue? What's the judgment? If you want to, you can gently open your eyes and begin to write it down and then come back to the meditation. And if not, just keep your eyes closed. Be so brave. Become aware of all those feelings. to see the sacred flame roaring with light and power and visualize yourself or feel yourself crumpling up all of the places you feel sadness torment pain anguish and see yourself throwing this into the flame notice the flame getting bigger as you give it your energy and feel this emotion this emotion of grief leaving your body as the flame alchemizes this for you, with you. If you want to use your hands to move the energy, making a sweeping motion of your body, or moving your hands to throw the energy into the fire, feel this with me. Everywhere I've been experiencing heartache with money, where I'm storing sadness and despair, Anywhere I feel tormented by money, where I'm repeating cycles of scarcity, I release and transmute across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Take a deep breath in. And powerfully exhale, feeling yourself empty. You're doing such, such big work. Deep breathing and feeling, feeling and breathing. Looking back at your desk, seeing all of your money, taking it in so bravely, begin to feel all the places that you're storing anger. Where do you feel wronged by money? Where do you feel frustrated, irritated, resentment? Allow yourself to feel the fiery passion of anger. As you begin to scan your mind of all the times you've felt this way around money, so bravely, and feel it and release it. Feel any time you've been betrayed with money, been taken advantage of, or let down. So powerfully get in touch with your inner feelings of anger. And then notice all the feelings of anger and rage. What's the story? What's the dialogue? What's the judgment? And if you want to, you can open your eyes gently. I begin to write down and then come back to the meditation. If not, just keep your eyes closed. Notice the sacred flame roaring with light and power. Visualize yourself or feel yourself crumping up all of the places that you feel anger. 
frustration, irritability. And see yourself throwing this in getting bigger as you give it this energy. You feel this emotion of anger leaving your body as the flame alchemizes this for you. You may even want to use your hands, sweep the energy away, throw the energy into the fire. Let yourself have this full experience. And feel this with me. Everywhere I've been holding on to anger, resentment, and distress, everywhere I felt wronged, used, taken advantage of, Everywhere I'm holding frustration and outrage, I release and transmute across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Take a deep breath in and powerfully exhale, feeling yourself empty. You're doing great. Keep breathing and feeling, feeling and breathing. Now to introduce you to a psychic healing tool called your grounding cord. Begin to gain awareness of your spine. Feel at the base of your spine a cord of energy. Like an extension of this, your spine, this cord of energy grows down. See it growing past the chair you're sitting in, past the floor, growing into the earth all the way down, 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 reaching to the center of the earth where you feel motherly love energy. And if you can't see this, just imagine what it would look like if you could see, if you could see your grounding cord. So fill up on this love. You're safe. You are held. You are nurtured. And begin to scan your body for anything else you may be feeling with money, any memories of pain or trauma, so bravely, feeling it all so it can be cleared and released. Notice this in your body like a gray smoke. And feel it being sucked down your grinding cord, down, 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 to be transmuted into usable energy by planet Earth. Feel this with me. Anywhere else I'm holding on to emotions with money that no longer serve me, I release and transmute across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Anything that's preventing me from my Fullest expression of prosperity, abundance, opportunity, fortune, fortune, wealth, and integrity with money. I release and transmute across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Anywhere that I am consciously and unconsciously repeating patterns and cycles of scarcity, I release and transmute across all time, space, dimension, and reality. Anywhere I'm holding scarcity from my lineage, from the collective consciousness, from other sources, I release and transmute across all time, space, dimension, and reality. And feeling yourself down your grounding cord, emptying, so surrender. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you for always being able to transmute and alchemize that which no longer serves me, into usable energy. And feeling yourself here in this moment, so aware, so empty from all the emotions and energies that once kept you stuck, and so free. And on my count of three, you're going to fill your body with a feeling of neutrality, however that feels to you. One, two, three, feel it, feel, 
feel that neutrality throughout your whole body. Total freedom. And now sitting here in your prosperity garden, I invite you to begin to imagine what you would most like to see on your desk with your money. Visualize your bank account filling up with cash. See your investment portfolios organized and thriving. See your retirement plan with more than you'll ever need for the rest of your life. See your revenue goal. See a number and let yourself be excited by it. See all of your money goals now, debt-free, in integrity, organized, balanced, and prosperous. And take note of anything money is saying to you. Go big. You're deserving. See it all and claim this. Now begin to visualize from the crown of your head a golden divine light begins to pour into you, filling your body with light and prosperity. And feel this with me. I was born to prosper. No matter what I've been through in the past, I am always free to create a new reality. I am so capable of handling my money and building wealth for myself and my family. I am talented and gifted. And there are infinite possibilities for me to create money in this lifetime. I have clarity and I know exactly what I need to do. Prosperity is mine. I claim this all now. Feel yourself full of light and prosperity. And on my count of three, you're going to expand it more. One, two, Three, expand, expand this feeling, this feeling of light and prosperity. Feel it, feel it taking up space inside you and out through you. And take this feeling with you. This is yours. Now stand up from your, your seat and bow with gratitude. You've done some incredible healing work today. And as you approach the flame, begin to see that it's dwindling down to a tiny flame. And on my count of three, you will blow it on. One, two, three. Blow. Blow it out. I invite you to walk around your garden again. Just notice if anything's changed. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. Just notice it. This is your prosperity garden. And you can come here anytime to clear more weeds like we've done today. To nurture and support your garden. it's time to go back now. So on my count of three, you're going to open the gate, walk through the gate and close the gate behind you. One, open the gate. Two, 
walk through the gate, free, close the gate behind you. And walk back down the long pathway. Walk past the wise old man, bowing with gratitude for the healing you received today. And enter the elevator. We're going up three floors. One, one. Two, two, three, three. See the green door open, just close it. And you can go back up the seven steps, feeling your feet on each step. One, two, feeling your feet on the steps. Three, four, five, feeling your feet. Six, Seven. And at the top of the stairs, begin to fill with the feeling of prosperity and gratitude. So full. And fully awake, open your eyes. Welcome back. And the reason I brought you out so quickly instead of the nice, gentle way we normally do is to integrate everything that we've just been through to bring that through with you into your current state. Thank you, Lisa. Um, I'm enabling you to unmute yourself. If anyone wants to share something, feel free to do that in the next couple of minutes, and then we're going to wrap it up. Oof. And if any anybody, anybody, if it's brought up anything for anybody that needs a little bit of extra support, please reach out, send me a message here, or connect with me on Facebook, and I can take you through anything else. It's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. It's pretty powerful. Um, and I want to honor you for taking this journey because, as Hendrik said, with the blue moon we had last night, um, this is the perfect time to do this. And I honor you for clearing some of the shadow work ready to move forward. Curious to know if anybody had a conversation with money and what money wanted to say to you. Always, you can, you can record your own, but it's that process. And I know I've done not this actual one, but one very similar. Um, many, many, many times, and every time I go back, my garden is different. Every time. Thank you, Lisa. That yeah, was interesting for me as well. I love <laughs> visualizations. They work perfectly for me. I'm a bit cold as well. My vibration is higher. Yeah. Um, and it feels cleared. So feeling of cleanliness in a way. Like, that's very beautiful. Well, you've been and weeded your garden. It looks amazing. Yes. <laughs> that's what do I imagine that at the end of me weed, taking all the weeds that exactly. kind of like popped out by themselves, collected them and put them on the compost. <laughs> that's what was my last section before yeah. I left my garden. Oh, that's awesome. Collecting all the weeds that just popped out of the, <laughs> from just sitting there and lifting awesome. them up. <laughs> uh, awesome. Thank you. Do you want to uh, have something to wrap it up from your side? Want to say something no just be aware if anything does come up over the next few days because this is powerful stuff and because the energy is pretty powerful at the moment please just feel free to reach out yeah thank you
Yeah, so for that, I posted the links for the YouTube channel, the page, and the Facebook group in the chat that in case you haven't seen that. And then I have a little request from you. As we mentioned last week when we had our dialogue session, we created, and I posted that just now, a survey based on uh, what came up and the questions that are alive in us. Mm. They're uh, anonymous. Unless at the end you want to share your name and your contacts with us so we can reach out uh, to you. Um, but we highly, highly would recommend you to uh, fill it out so that we get some answers for the questions that we're having there. You can do it right away. I'm going to post it right after this in the community group uh, that you can also find the survey there. It's just some questions regarding content infrastructure, where to go next, uh, and for us to get a little sensing for uh, mission vision as well from your side yeah Whew. thank you that was beautiful there's so much uh yeah magic magic is the word that comes to me in this group and uh, capacity to and capability to share so thank you all for being with us again today unmute yourself say goodbye in your own own just, words in your own language and just, then we see just you before the next we do week. Can I just very quickly, you might not have seen in the chat, but Walter put uh, money, what have you been waiting for? Nurture me and use me to make your positive contribution to our world. Huh. Hallelujah. That's beautiful. Thank you all. And with that. And Lisa, you are a wonderful guide. Thank you for today. I love you. Thank you for the, the honor and your trust in me. Then unmute yourself and we're closing it. See you next week. Stunning, Lisa. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Lots Bye. of love. Bye. 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 Namaste. So amazing. Namaste. Thank you very much. Much Bye -bye. love. I love you.